Gold, gold, who's got the gold? That's the question. Who's got the gold? I don't know who's got the gold. But I was just talking about preparedness a few minutes ago, and I want to do a video real quick on gold. Who has the gold? I don't know. I don't have any gold. I'm just a poor guy. But, uh, I mean, uh, where is our gold? Where is our nation's gold right now? I don't know where it is. Do we even have any? Listen, there were some great news stories that came out this week that were just unbelievably telling about where this financial market and where our economy is heading uh, in the days ahead. And I'm telling you, man, it was, it was just mind-blowing. And I'm going to show, share some of that stuff with you real quick. But it's, it's, uh, it's important that you understand some fundamentals. Okay, see, when a bank has a vault of gold, now let's just say, for instance, that a bank has 100 bars, uh, salad bars of gold in its vault. Okay, nobody else knows how many bars of gold the bank has, but the bank knows. The bank knows they have 100 bars, okay? And so what they want to do is they want to take that gold and trade it on the open market. So what they do is they create certificates for that gold. So let's say they create one certificate uh, for every bar of gold. And they take that gold, those certificates, and go to the trading place, and then they trade those on the open market. But instead of printing 100 certificates one certificate for each bar of gold that they have in their vault they print they print out uh, uh excuse me they print out a thousand certificates so not 100 certificates because they have 100 bars they print out a thousand certificates because they say hey nobody knows how much gold we have in our vault we can sell certificates for as many bars as we want okay that's how the game is played that is it's a fact that that, that they do that there is market manipulation there is, exists tons tons more tradable gold um on the market okay in paper in paper certificate form than actual bars or ounces of gold or silver uh that exists anywhere in any vault uh, it just does not exist so what they do that's how they manipulate the market the banks manipulate the market by doing that they take uh, a thousand certificates for every a hundred bars of gold. I don't know what the ratio is, but it's a lot. And so they do this on a massive, massive scale. Well, a lot of people have realized that this is going on. And they realize that the economy of the United States is not so healthy lately. And they realize that the dollar is losing its value, that inflation is on its way. QE3 is about to start. That's quantitative easing, uh, where they're going to be printing massive amount, amounts of money in this country. And so... Other countries are going, oh, you know, I think we should probably um, ask for our money back. You see, it's called the New York Federal Reserve, where we keep a ton, just a lot of the gold that's in our country. Um, now, you may have been aware of Fort Knox or, or uh, uh, you know, where we keep a lot of the gold there. And there's, a, there's an army base in Kentucky, and uh, there's a ton of gold there. But... Um, no one really even knows how much gold's in that place. And Ron Paul is one of the presidential candidates who said, hey, we need to audit that. And uh, no one's been able to audit that. In fact, I don't think it's ever been audited. Maybe someone can let me know if, they, if it has. But I don't think it has ever been audited. And the New York Federal Reserve, do you remember the movie Die Hard 3? It was Die Hard with a Vengeance. It was Die Hard 3 with Bruce Willis, and he's trying to stop the guys who are basically um, sending him on a bunch of wild goose chases while they rob, guess what, the New York Federal Reserve with all of the gold that they have in there. And they bring up all these dump trucks, and they, they haul the gold away, and nobody even knows it until they're gone. And so, guys, how much gold do you think is in the New York Federal Reserve? Okay, well, we have this picture here. I mean, we, how... We don't really know. There's never really been an audit. But we do know is that many of the other nations keep their gold in the New York Federal Reserve Bank, which is where, I mean, which was a, the whole thing about the Die Hard movie. And they explain that in the movie, that many, many nations keep their gold in that bank, underneath, which is basically located underneath the streets of New York. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> so this last week, this last week, folks, Switzerland and Germany said, hey, um, yeah, guys, we'd like our gold back. Can you, can you ship our gold back over here? You know, the gold, you know, the gold you're holding for us in the New York Federal Reserve Bank? Yeah, we'd like that back. I mean, it didn't make hardly any news. I think it was like on page 17 of the New York Times in a small snippet. I mean, what, whatever page it was, it wasn't front page. And it was definitely not, you know, a big uh, uh, call out in the news section. Um, it didn't make any of the mainstream news that I know of. Um, so, I mean, Germany and Switzerland, now they have a lot of gold at the New York Federal Reserve, and they want it back. So, all right, do you remember MF Global? 
when all those people who invested in paper gold and paper silver, okay, what they did is they took, they were buying the certificates. Remember I told you about the bank who was, who was issuing certificates, a thousand certificates, even though they only had a uh, hundred bars of gold? Well, it's kind of like that. MF Global sold these certificates. Da, 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 da. Who wants one? Okay, here you go. And a lot of people bought them. And guess what? Venezuela said at one time, hey, guys, uh, yeah, you know the gold that we have over in London? I mean, because all the bankers are together. All the banks are global, okay? So it's not like it's a U.S., you know, foreign thing. It doesn't matter what country you're in. But Venezuela said, hey, um, we want our gold back. You know, ship it here. A por- they wanted a big portion of it at least. And they were like, uh, okay, we'll, we'll send you the gold. No problem. And well, guess what happened like a week and a half, two weeks later? MF Global hit. MF Global said, oh, yeah, all these accounts with all these people who bought these gold certificates on paper, yeah, that's going bye-bye. Goodbye. And they just closed shop, bankrupt, gone. And all these people were, were – they were like, what? You, you took my money. Where's my money? I want my gold or my money back. I want something. Where, where is everything? <sighs> it's going to hurt, folks. It's going to hurt. Uh, yeah, so this time Germany and Switzerland both want their money back or their gold back. And so now we have to find a way to give it back to them. Now they're asking for the gold in the New York Federal Reserve. And I guarantee you folks that they're, uh, they are running around crazy. And it was just about that time when they said they wanted their gold back was in the middle of this <clears throat> hammering, uh, that gold was taking on the market. So why is the price of gold going down? I don't know. I'm not a huge economist guy. I just see the things I see and then you know try to put together my own scenarios on what they may mean or not. But I can tell you right now that uh, the price of gold is getting hammered. And I think that's either for two reasons. Either one is because that uh, they need to figure out a way to uh, kill the interest. You know, people say, hey, gold's, gold's a great place to put your money into. Well, not so much if you see it getting hammered uh, at, the, at the percentage it's getting hammered. And the other reason, maybe they're getting it, they're hammering it on purpose. They're manipulating the price on purpose uh, for the sole fact that uh, they can uh, scrounge up as much as they can, hit it when it's low, buy it when it's low, and then be able to give, you know, you know, maintain the Ponzi scheme and give some of this gold back uh, to the, the, com- the countries who are asking for it. I don't know. Maybe one of those two answers. I don't know what what the reason is. All I know is that there is some severe panic, according to some alternative economists on the internet, about the gold. Gold, gold. Who's got the gold? I don't know who's got the gold. I mean, I have a little bit of paper, uh, gold and silver, uh, not paper, physical. Uh, that uh, I'm not a rich guy. I don't have a lot. I just I just know that it's good to have a little. Um, so uh, it's probably good for you to have some too. If other countries are demanding that their gold be returned to them, why do you think that is? They know there's an economic collapse coming. They know that 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 the U.S. dollar is 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 headed for the grave, folks. They know that there are hard times coming. They want their gold back. China and India are both hoarding gold and ordering as much as they can get of the stuff. Guys, it all comes back to what the Bible calls honest weights and measures. That's what it's about. Our nations, all nations have gotten away from what the Bible calls honest weights and measures. Gold and silver are currency, according to this. That's what holds real value. And we've gotten away from that. Guys, I would recommend that you buy some gold or silver. Um, uh, silver, preferably. Uh, I think it has a better uh, ability for return. Um, it's what the Bible calls money. The Hebrew word is kasef, and it means money. Look it up. Silver, kasef, money. It's what it means. It's what our Torah calls money. Okay? Go out and get some. Um, the green stuff that you're putting in your wallets, not worth money. Okay? It's, it's about as... It's about as worth as much as this stuff right there. Right there. It's just paper, folks. It's paper. Has no value whatsoever. Okay. That's it. Just wanted to bring that to you. Who Gold, gold. Who's got the gold? I don't know. But I know one thing. You need to go home and you need to read your Bible. All right. Thanks. Thanks.